Our Father who art in heaven, our refuge and shelter in time of storm. Help us to anchor ourselves to you now in all ways. And as we study your word, give us wisdom and knowledge that we may fathom the message you give us today and walk in it. May your purpose and will be done in our lives O Lord. Please forgive us our sins O God, and help us worthy to be called your children. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Straighten Your Crown It's impossible to live your whole life without experiencing some degree of heartache and pain. That's because we live in a sinful world, and that won't change until Jesus comes and Satan is destroyed. Even in Bible times, people suffered from famines, drought, plagues, and attacks of war. There are stories of people who were afraid, broken, depressed, or suicidal. Nothing has changed today, just different types of heartache, but pain nonetheless. Families are broken, relationships shattered, domestic violence and sexual assaults on the rise, and there are murders, wars, floods, and pandemics. The book of Job tells his story of intense suffering from painful boils that covered his body. There were no pain pills or IV morphine drip to give him relief. Instead, he suffered terrible agony. In Job 29.3 we're told, When his lamp shone upon my head, and when by his light I walked through darkness. Job made it through his horrible ordeal by staying connected with God. Although friends urged him to curse God and die, Job never did. Nor did he blame him, become bitter, or turn his back on God. Instead, he held God's hand through every dark moment. During life's journey, you can be sure there will be times when the darkness will come, but only by God's light will you walk through it. Philippians 1.19 promises, For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Take note that the text said deliverance would take place through prayer. Tell God all your troubles and then listen for his answers. It's hard to walk through what you're not willing to talk through. And God wants to hear from you. Don't wait until things are so bad that you can't take it anymore. Run to Jesus the first moment of crisis, for he has promised to be with you through every trial. And he always keeps his promises. On your darkest days when you feel sad, unloved, unworthy, and down in the dumps, remember who your father is and straighten your crown.